seven drawer Kennedy toolbox. Open it like this. Just like this, in here, here, this, and then you close. Mm -hmm. Here we have a seven drawer Kennedy toolbox, a magnetic base with an on and off switch, another magnetic base, an Eric Magna holder. All the attachments that go with the magnetic base. Oh, here is a surface plate uh, base that you can attach indicators to. A comparator. Attachments. A wiggler. Edge finder. Spring center, for a lathe, another one for a holder, for, we have, a uh, 30 thousandths indicator. Another thirty thousandths indicator. This is a sixty thousandths indicator. A looks like. 25 thousandths indicator. The box. Three, four, three one inch travel indicator and four, the fourth one, one inch travel, doesn't have a lens, but still works. <laughs> it's a good quality one. <laughs> this this is one that probably used just for machining purposes where you don't really care. Then we have a radius gauge for outside and inside radiuses, all in uh, standard measurement. A feeler gauge. Uh, 12 inch scale, 6 inch scale, 6 inch scale. Here we have an angle for, uh, for sharpening drills. This is for uh, measuring threads and uh, locating, setting up uh, threading tools. And this is a uh, divider. Uh, right angle, right angle tools, um, telescopic hole gauges. Here we have another micrometer uh, to measure edges and holes, distances.
dial calipers. Mito Toyo dial calipers. And attachments to the calipers. This is also a Mito Toyo. Sorry, a lot of these are the brand names. Really uh, good ones. We'll, we'll, we'll look at them later. Um, here we have a brown and sharp zero to one inch a one to two inch and this is uh i i, I it's covered up by a, a seal zero uh, one to two inch and me to toyo two to three inch um, a depth in mic that mic and I can't see the brand has been covered, but it's got the depth rods up to six inches. Um, what else have we got? Oh, the uh, quill stop, quill stop for Bridgeport Mill. We have a uh, spindle attachment for a Bridgeport Mill or any kind of. Uh, uh, chuck any kind of miller drill and here we have an attachment for for this and that pretty much covers it or oh, these attachments can either fit these bases or the surface plate uh base uh have i said everything already yes you did okay here loud and clear Okay, now I gotta put it all back together again. <laughs> I can do it. I remember kind of where everything goes. Okay. Uh, adjustable parallels. And these are Oldak. Is that what it says? Oldak? Yes. There's adjustable parallels. These, these are all turning tools. This is a turning tool with a carbide tip that can be removed. Boring tool. These are cams for a vise. When you want to make a, 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 a machine, the jaws of a vise, these cams will hold them tight together. More tap drills of different sizes. And these are uh, really good to have all the different sizes. And you have, I think, four different sizes. These are drift pins used to knock tools out of a, uh, a tailstock on a lathe. Uh, these are miscellaneous rods, aluminum rods that you can fabricate into any kind of different tools. This is just uh, rough material. This is a 5C collet holder. This is really a, a good tool here. And you, you use, this is known as a 5C collet and it's made to hold pieces, to hold material like that. And then you put them in here and you tighten it up with this. And then you can put it on a, on a drill press or on a mill like, to put pieces like that to machine or whatever and you release it the collet 5c collet holder uh, more uh, uh, just material to use for different projects shims shims sometimes the tools on the lathe are not they're not in center when you're cutting 
So you put shims underneath to bring it into center. And these are all shim stock for setup. Okay. And that's uh, pretty much all of it. And um, yeah, heavy, huh? that's, that's pretty much all of it. And it's got a lot of miscellaneous tools. Uh, here's tools that I made. This is this is to a spacer when I want to plug things in. Yeah. Um, also a tap handle. Different than this one, this holds it flat and you can use it the same way. It's a tap handle to create threads in holes. Here is a thread gauge and you use these to measure threads like that. To, and it tells you the pitch of the thread. It's a pitch gauge, thread pitch gauge. Let me look and see what else we have here. Oh, up here. This is a tap handle. So you can put taps in it like this and then create uh, uh, threads in holes. Okay. Here's more center drills, more center drills, a whole bunch. Okay. Four flute end mill. It's got four flute and it's made to cut material on the sides and also make holes. These are carbide inserts and there's a whole set, a whole bunch of them here. These are all pieces of carbide inserts and carbide is used. This one is for threading and there are different purposes for these. Carbide is very hard. Various sizes of these. These are center drills and they are numbered uh, for different holes to start the drill off. You first you make a hole with this and then it starts the drill off. Center drill. These are, uh, this is a four flute. Um, these are known as gun drills. Very expensive. They're made for deep drilling. Uh, steel, steel. And, yeah, and, and pretty much. These are standard twist drills of, of various sizes. Drills, these are letter drills. Then we have number drills, and we have fraction drills. A set of mini screwdrivers of various sorts. We have flat. All of these are standard flat screwdrivers. These are combination wrenches, different sizes. These are T-nuts to be used on a mill table to clamp things down. This is a pipe wrench, commonly known as a monkey wrench. C-clamps, they are different sizes. They are C-clamps to tighten things. This is a dead center to go on a lathe chuck. This is a boring bar to go on a lathe with a form tool. Chuck keys of different sizes for different sized chucks, from big ones to little ones. A fly cutter used on a mill to machine flat surfaces.